Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Astoria Dream and we are talking chakras in today's video. So we are talking all about the, uh, the solar plexus chakra today. As you see, I got my little yellow shirt on for the solar plexus because the solar plexus does relate with yellow, okay? So we're going to break down some signs of underactive and some overactive solar plexus because we want to bring it centered right balanced and aligned that's a good state of being okay so things to look out for if it's on either end of the spectrum okay so first your solar plexus is located about two inches above your navel okay like i said it's yellow <laughs> yes wearing yellow will help support your solar plexus so anytime you have any chakra out of alignment you could wear that color to help support the chakra okay so when it is underactive, you can be very low energy, okay? You could have poor digestion. You could have um, lack of trust in yourself, okay? You could also be in a state of like victim mentality, um, what was me type energy, or even I can't take responsibility for anything, right? Where you're at the stage of like, well, they did this to me. It's always them, right? And no judgment with any of these things. These are just signs and stuff to look out for, right? So not being able to take ownership of anything, your part in anything, that's on the underactive side, right? You could have a very low image of yourself, um, not respect yourself enough, not know your worth, you could even be a little lazy, like not motivated at all. And those are some stuff like you're just, whether you're on the couch all day or sleeping all day because you just can't govern your own motivation, your discipline, that type of stuff. So when that happens, that's underactive, okay? So the opposite end, when it's overactive, right? Look out for bossiness. Look out for I'm always right, know-it-all syndrome. Um, again, people can be a little self-centered and conceited. You can even look out for some narcissism on the overactive side, as well as like show-offs, that type of energy, right? Because we have that cocky energy. Um, again, you could be not so much, you could be with that cockiness, you could be, oh, I'm trusting that my gut too much, but you become cocky and then it actually misleads you, right? So that's why we want that centered energy where we trust our gut feeling and we know we're in alignment because you could, when you're overactive, it might actually mislead you because you think you know it all and you're not able to listen, right? So you could also be very competitive, um, but it is more an aggressive energy when it's overactive, okay? And then when it's centered, right? Like I was just saying, trusting and in that flow state like you just know like no this feels off something i'm trusting my gut here and i'm gonna follow that right um it's that centered balanced energy where it's not all the way underactive it's not all the way overactive bring it in i have a healthy relationship with myself i have self-respect i know i am worthy i have self-esteem right i know i am worth something i have a strong image of myself i'm not too cocky but i don't think low of myself where i'm not worthy right it's that centered being that i know i'm enough i'm strong i'm worthy i'm whole i'm complete that is the center energy okay so look out for it when it's on either way again like i said wearing colors eating foods anything of the yellow that you can bring into your life will definitely help support it um and there's many other things you could do along the way. You could do some I am affirmations. Perfect, like we were just saying. I literally just said that, wow. I am strong, I am enough, I'm whole, I'm worthy, I'm complete. Those are beautiful affirmations to help balance out your solar plexus. And there's many things also you can do, like frequencies and therapies and all kinds of stuff you can incorporate. But these are just some signs um, to look out for if you're on either end of it. Um, so we can kind of check our ego and bring us back to that centered, balanced, aligned energy, that neutral path, right? That middle path, that's that middle ground. It will never lead you wrong, okay? So that's all about signs and of overactive and underactive <laughs> uh, solar plexus, okay? And after this, we will, in the next video, we will go on to the heart chakra, right? So stay tuned for that. And if you guys got anything on this video, do me a favor with that thumbs up button this way. I know you got something that resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a little bell too. You want the bell and turn on notifications because I do daily videos. I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. That next message just made the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Till next time, be blessed.